Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Kurt Hildebrand and Will DeMondestein talking about the Haitian earthquake, the Haiti earthquake back in uh, about five years ago in the aftermath of everything. Mm -hmm. You guys both met there, now married today with a beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. So Kurt, let me start with you. You're from this area. What brought you there? I went to work with an organization called the Mennonite Central Committee. Uh, at first it was to work with a local Haitian human rights organization. And after a couple of years, I moved into the uh, director position. Okay, and, and you were there when the earthquake happened? Yes. Okay, so uh, tell us uh, kind of what that was like and, and I mean, going through that, of course, but also the massive rebuilding job. Uh, it was uh, like, un unlike anything you can imagine, uh, you know, it felt like the whole city was destroyed and, and it was just mass chaos, of course, for the first uh, 24 hours. And then slowly things started to take form, take shape, camps formed. Uh, we started coordinating with other uh, development and aid workers and eventually, you know, kind of a picture of a plan uh, came into focus and we started talking about um, how do we, you know, recover from this, how do we start um, yeah. encouraging people to, to move away from the city because the city was so overcrowded. And that was our strategy. We call it decentralization, um, trying to encourage people to, to go back to the countryside where, where many had come from and find a, a life for themselves there. Yeah, okay. And, and Wilda, what, what is the mood of, of the Haitians today? Par contre, c'est un peu l'espoir. Après ça, fin passé, je me suis dit, je ne sais pas même qu'on est qui ça qui arrive. Et tout le monde a dit, mais est-ce que c'est la fin du monde? Est-ce que c'est pour Jésus qui a venu? There's a lot of ho there was a lot of hope. Uh, right after it happened, people wondered what was that? Was, is this the second coming? Is this the end of the world? What sure. was that? Mais qu'on y a pas senti ça encore. Parce que mouvement comme c'est que c'est un gros mouvement social qui t'a parlé sous changement, qui ça nous a fait pour nous pas même des gars ça arriver qui qui plein non. And there was you know, it felt like there was a great social movement building for, you know, how can we avoid that destruction yet and and how do we have a plan moving forward? Especially moi même I feeling ça pas connait j'ai perdu pas connait qui ça n'a fait qu'on y a est-ce que nous nous move vraiment est-ce que nous avancer est-ce que nous fait un plan pour 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 la vie non bien pour fit tout le monde qui va venir ou bien sur l'autre jeunesse en Haïti nous pas connait and now i've i i have to wonder like you know what happened to that movement and that and the momentum mm -hmm. you know what what is the future for us what's the future for the youth of this country you know where where are we going mm -hmm. and and what uh what would you like people to know, um, and this is a question for both of you, Kurt and, and Wilda, what would you like people to know about Haiti today, and, and can they help, what can they do, or mm -hmm. is it just kind of an awareness issue at this point? Kurt, you kind of mentioned that mm -hmm. the, the relief has, has overwhelmed people, and, and now it's kind of gone, if you will? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, well, so what I would say is that, mm -hmm. that uh, I think it's good for people to know that there has been a lot of progress in terms of cleaning up. Mm -hmm. And that, that was a massive job just in and of itself, picking up the rubble, Absolutely. demolition. But after five years, it's like that's kind of the only thing that's really happened. There's been a lot of little scattered uh, housing projects, um, and including my organization, you know, we've contributed to that. Mm -hmm. um, but massive rebuilding, massive, you know, large-scale reconstruction of the city, of the capital city, which was, mm -hmm. you know, almost half destroyed, it's just barely begun. And so that's what I'd like people to know. And, and yeah, unfortunately, there's not a really easy way to plug into it right now. Certainly not. Yeah. Uh, in many ways, the world has moved on. But there's still a lot of great organizations, a lot of great people, uh, and a lot of, yeah, uh, the Haitian community is still working hard to rebuild. Yeah. And, yeah, I think it's an awareness issue. And for the people out there who have always sort of had a, a place in their hearts for Haiti, mm -hmm. uh, I would say, yeah, just continue to be plugged in and, and you know, read the news about us and, and look mm -hmm. for opportunities. Oh, very good. Will, it was great to meet you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.